about to make a spice pot. I actually forgot the cinnamon sticks, so I'm just gonna put some ground cinnamon in it. So let me get started. It is Sunday. Happy New Year. Today is January 1st, 2023. Happy New Year, everyone. Just got, not just, but um, we went to church this morning and y'all. Okay, well, let me talk about the spice pot that I made. So when I make that, I usually feel like it's a waste because we don't drink it or eat it or anything like that. It's just so the house can smell good. Just put it on low and it will start smelling really good. And yeah i just love that anyway so y'all last night maybe for like the last two days it rained the sky just opened up and water just came dumping out constantly it was raining okay so it stopped last night but this morning oh and it was windy too really windy last night we get ready to go to church and our church is maybe about 30 minutes away from us, not too far, but we go on the freeway and it's blocked off and they said due to flooding. The way that the navigation gave us was like little back streets, those were flooded and so we were just stressed out and when I was about to call it, like I'm just going back home and watch it online. Then I seen the freeway where they were directing us to. I'm like, okay, good. So we were able to do it. We were late, song service was ending. They were wrapping things up and it went to announcement offering and then the word. And yes, the word is the most important part of church to me, but I also like to hear the music. So we missed all that. And then I don't know, I was just so stressed out because of everything that was going on. I wanted to blog a little bit more. And I was actually going to blog a little bit in church. I was gonna try to do that. I don't know, I was just stressed. And then on the way home, I'm thinking, okay, I'll just go the way the navigation told us to go home. Well, apparently it was telling everyone that way, which I get because the freeway that we normally take was still blocked off. It took us almost two hours to get home. And yeah, I just need the woosah and relax and enjoy the rest of my Sunday. Everybody, it is Tuesday and I'm on break, but I'm working from home today because my manager sent us a text last night, or well, early this morning. She messaged us last night and sent the text this morning before we came in that said, we are welcome to work from home because the weather here has been bad lately. I know I told you guys that the freeway was closed off, but on New Year's Eve, there was a huge storm. It was pretty bad and a lot of places were, was flooded and they declared the area that was flooded like a state of emergency. And yeah, Sacramento made it on CNN, y'all. We made it on the news. <laughs> and what else? So we're working at home today, even though it's not raining today, I think they should have had us go in today 
and then tomorrow stay home because tomorrow it's going to be another storm they said it's going to be really windy and stuff like that so I don't know if they said it's supposed to be just as bad as it was on Saturday so y'all yeah and tomorrow is Bible study and I was thinking of staying home and watching it online. I'm not one of those people who sits at home, y'all know that, and just watch it online because I do believe that you need to be in the house of God. That's biblical. But my church is understanding and they know. And yeah, so I may just stay home tomorrow and watch it online because it's going to be crazy. So y'all, this is two days later from when you guys seen me preparing the spice pot. And it cooked down. So I had it on really super low all day. It's about three o'clock right now. And it was just, it's making the house smell so good. So it cooked down, but I added more water to it. And after it goes down this time, I'm just going to dump everything out. It, like I said, it seems like a waste, but I guess it served its purpose. But I won't do this often, every now and then, especially when I have people coming over just to make the house smell good. It gives off a really good scent in the house. It smells like someone's baking something. I definitely will be making this throughout the year again. And a friend of mine, I told her about it and I sent her a picture. She said, oh, you can use that as tea. I don't know if I will do that. I doubt it, but I guess you could. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, but yeah. This smells so good, y'all. All right, y'all. It is after work. Um, I've been off work for an hour and a half. It's five o'clock. Is it sad that I'm in bed already? Not for the night. I'm just tired. I'm going to take a nap. I was up late last night on a phone call with a friend that I haven't talked to in a while. So I think they called around eight or nine and... We were just catching up and everything and everything was like, I'm going to tell you this and I'm going to let you go. So we were just catching up and I knew I had to get up for work, but I also knew that I was able to work from home today. So I didn't have to get up as early, so that helped, but I am exhausted and y'all, so you know how I'm waiting on my machine and so I hear a delivery truck outside because you when you order things a lot you know the sound of a truck of fedex or of ups and whatever so i heard the truck and i heard the door slide open and i looked out in the front and i seen the truck in front of my house and i got so happy like yay 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 it's my machine finally finally can get this started and start sleeping properly and then he walked across the street yeah still haven't got it yet this is week six I called today to see if there was any updated information and there was not so yeah um they at first they told me it's it could be up to eight weeks and then they told me oh no you're get it in two weeks and then they told me it's four to six weeks so this is the sixth week but i don't know i just i'm just so tired y'all i want that machine so bad because i know it's gonna help me I'm so tired of feeling like this. Yeah, let me take a nap, even though I'm not going to get a full rest properly because I have the apnea, y'all. So, y'all, did you see that hair in the clip before? Yeah, I was at work and I don't know who made these treats or whatever, but they put it on our desk and I opened it because at first I thought, I'm like, what is this? So I opened it. Didn't smell too great. I don't know how long it was sitting there because we were out of the office for a while because of the Christmas break. We were working from home and no, the yeah, the Christmas break and then New Year. We were working from home. So I get back and I open and I seen it and it didn't smell too good. And then I look down and I seen that fine little hair. Yeah, this goes to show you can't eat everything someone gives you and your show can't eat at everybody's house. Yeah.
Okay, today is January 5th, and I still have my tree up, but I'm working on taking everything down. I still have to get one more bin, and I was going to wait until I got the bin to take everything down, but I can just put everything to the side that I need to put in the extra bin while taking this down. I don't want to take it down, you guys. I really love Christmas, so, and I'm watching a circle on Netflix, so. Do you guys watch that? Okay, so furniture wise, everything is back to where I had it. I don't know if you noticed, but I moved the blanket basket back there and I moved that console over and I just put that in a different spot. So all of the Christmas decoration is down except for the stuff up here. I need to get a, another bin because I had the tall one and then that one. I put it in the bin that I have the fall stuff in and I don't want to do that because when I decorate for fall, I just want to grab the fall bin. So I'm getting a separate one for all this stuff that's left over. So, and then I'll rearrange everything to how I had it. So, yeah. And I'm watching a Korean show. Yeah, I think it's Korean. It's called Flower of Evil and it's so good. You know how you watch one Korean show and then, or watch one thing and a lot like it will pop up. So yeah, that's what's going on. All right, so have the container here, the bin. I'm gonna put all of this stuff in here. Well, not the flowers, but all of the Christmas things. Okay, so everything is completely back to normal. I just have to put the lid on this and take everything out to the garage. Good morning everyone, it is Sunday. I'm on my way to church and it's just me today. The girls are not feeling well, so they will be watching online, but there was no reason for me to stay home. So I am going to church. And y'all, we had a huge storm last night. Another tree's down. We had a huge storm again last night. It, was, it wasn't a whole lot of rain. It kind of was, but it was mainly the wind. The fence came over on my side of the yard, which doesn't surprise me because, well, because of the wind, number one. And number two, they always, well, the husband always piles a bunch of things on top, like in storage, whatever. So it already was leaning a little bit. And I'm like, one of these days that fence is going to fall because he puts so much stuff on his side, which he has a right to do. That's their yard. Their canoe came on outside the yard. Their umbrella from like, because they have a pool. So their umbrella flew on our side of the yard. So as I'm driving to church, there's so many trees that are down. There's things that are in the road. So many people have lost power. And y'all, so... We didn't lose power at all. I was surprised, but I was thankful. I wasn't complaining or anything like that. Not even a flicker of the lights. And Cheyenne looked out her window and she said, half of the neighborhood is out. And it's weird because, I don't know if I told you guys this before or if you guys remember me telling you this, in my neighborhood when the lights go off, between my house and the neighbor house is like the middle of it or whatever. So one side will be out all the way down the street and across the street and the other side of the on or vice versa. So last night, it was my neighbors, the one whose house, um, not house, fence fell down in our yard. It was their house and the house like directly in front of them and all the way down to the left, they had their lights out, so. All right, you guys, here is my church. If you know, you know. I came early. It is 8.51. Church doesn't start until 9.30. But I came early in case the freeway was closed again or if there were puddles or whatever. And of course there was not. So I will sit in my car a little bit until it's time to go in for prayer. All right, so it's much later. And after church today, I took a super, ooh, excuse me, a super long nap. It's six o'clock and I wasn't asleep since I got home, but, and I've been up maybe now about an hour. Because when I take naps, y'all, my naps are not like an hour long. They're like three to five hours. So that's just me. That's how I've always been. So yeah, and being now that 
I have sleep problems, um, which y'all, it's, I think it's week six or maybe week seven. So hopefully that machine comes really soon because I'm tired of being tired. So anyway, I'm just reading a book called God Has a Waiting Room and it's really good. I got this book last year, but I didn't start reading it till recently. And it's one of those, why did I wait? Even though I knew I was going to like it, that's why I bought it. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. And it's funny because I'm looking at my bed here. My kids tease me because I am single. And they were saying how single people always have things on one side of their bed. And I'm not going to show you guys what I have on this side of my bed. It's kind of like, it's not like messy, but it's my laptop. I have my Bible. I have two books. I have a, <laughs> I have a magazine. I have my prayer journal. I have, let me show you guys actually. This like spiritual warfare prayer book. Um, I Love Lucy magazine. Yeah. I'm actually embarrassed. It's not messy, but I'm actually embarrassed how much stuff I have on the side of the bed. And it's not like I'm a kid. I don't roll all over my bed. So I sleep on one side. So, yeah. Dang kids. Anyway, I am just going to finish reading my book. Not a whole lot's going on right now. Um, the girls are in their rooms. Um, probably sleep. Or I think I heard Savannah laughing a little bit ago. So, she's up. So, we're not really doing nothing at all, you guys. At all. And if I don't bring the camera back out tonight, it's because I've done this. Sit here and read. And I may watch a few episodes of Shameless tonight before I go to bed. And that's it. I'll eat dinner shortly. That's it, y'all. There was a huge storm again last night. Let me show you the neighbor's things that fell over to my side yard. And I'm not mad or upset or anything. See, it's their canoe. Can you guys see that? Yeah, and then I guess the umbrella from there because they have a pool. And then down that way, there's some stuff as well. I'm not gonna show into their backyard because I feel that would be wrong but anyway the fence between our um, houses fell over it tipped over towards my side and it doesn't surprise me I think I told you guys this already the dad piles a, a bunch of stuff on their side and it was leaning on my side so I had a feeling and I was like scared of the fence falling because of all the stuff he puts I mean he has a right to put whatever he wants to put on his property, right? 
that's their business. And it was already like bowing over to my side of the yard on the side yard. And with the storm right now, it just completely tipped all the way over, not on the area that I showed you guys, but further over here by my, wait, where am I pointing? Where am I pointing? Okay, by my kitchen windows over there. And like I said, I'm not gonna show you guys inside his backyard because I feel that would be wrong because it's not mine. So yeah, he hasn't come over or the wife hasn't come over to talk to me about it or anything. And I have a feeling it's because the rain's not over, the storms are not done. So why would he fix it right now when it's not such a big deal? Even though they're kind of weird neighbors, they're good neighbors. So um, I'm sure we'll come up with a reasonable fix for this. And yeah, I'll keep you guys informed. Y'all, it's been about six or seven weeks, but it finally came in so I can finally start getting some good sleep. Oh my goodness, I want to cry right now because I'm just, I'm ready to get better. Hello, it is Friday. I'm off work. I am running some errands. And actually right now I'm on my way to the hair shop on Mac Road. I don't live nowhere near it um, but if you from you are from Sacramento or I've been here and if you know you know put it that way there's no black owned or black hair shops where I live so so I have to come here to get my hair and I'm doing this first because even though I don't have a whole lot of errands to run I don't like coming to this area at night I just don't oh you guys see this Samantha so got this for me it's an air freshener. Lucy and Ricky, so cute. And it smelled like new car, but it doesn't smell like anything right now. So, yeah. Y'all, I'm excited because I got my CPAP machine and I used it for the first time last night. Still working out some kinks. Um, I called, I think it's the respiratory therapist. I think that's what you call them. I called them today and they helped me change a few settings on the machine. And from what they can see on their end, because they can remote in as well, from what they can see, I used it just fine last night. And yeah, so y'all, this girl is gonna start getting back to her old self, which I'm excited about. But yeah, I don't know if you guys can tell, probably don't have the camera up close, but y'all, I'm getting more gray hairs. And yes, I get it, I'm getting old. 50 yes I'm 50 y'all I get it but so disrespectful that they're here like Edna says but oh my goodness I feel like all of a sudden they came overnight okay y'all I got my hair and I am leaving this hood y'all when I talk about this neighborhood don't think that I'm acting like I'm better than anyone else. I'm not. It's just, this area is just known for some things. And not everyone, and not everyone that lives around this area is that way. It's just what it's known for. I mean, when you come over here, you shouldn't be surprised if you see people in pajamas, house slippers, and their bonnet. And I've seen people with their robes on before, just shopping in the stores like it was no big deal, like they were at home. So, yeah. Okay, I got my hair. This is the kind I use when I get my crochet braids done. So I just got four bags of those. No, I didn't. I got five bags of hair. I always get more than what I need because I don't want to be in the chair and have to run out looking crazy because I don't have enough hair. That would not be good. Mm -hmm. 